Hey, what's up YouTube, Adrian here. Um, today I'm gonna be bringing you a little unboxing video. Um, thanks so much for your response on um, my camera review of the Panasonic G9 and also the unboxing, been really cool to see the engagement that I've got uh, and the amount of views. Uh, and today I'm gonna be bringing you another uh, camera unboxing, which has been really cool. Um, I reached out to Fujifilm and they have sent me something to review, which I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna be doing an unboxing today. You might notice that my setup is a little bit different. In fact, I've just moved down to Auckland um, a couple of days ago, and so we're still unpacking, still getting set up, but I've done like a little desk set up, and uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it that way or switch it up, but anyways, without me blabbering on, why don't we get into the unboxing? So I've just got like the box on the little stool in front of me, um, but we're gonna get into it. Let's do it. Get this thing open. I'm using a bigger knife this time. I've been using pretty much this thing for most of the unpacking and it's like full of like residue and like stickiness and all that kind of deal, but it's doing the trick. Here we go. Um, a little card, which is always nice. So first of all, that, they've been really um, generous towards me in terms of the loan. They've not only got me a camera with the lens, but also an extra lens. Um, one, of the, one of the requirements that I asked for was something with a wider aperture um, so that I could get those really nice out of focus shots, um, which is really cool. So over here I have the XF 23mm F2. Um, which is gonna be really nice to shoot with. I'm gonna pop that open before we get to the camera. You guys don't even know, oh, you probably do know what camera is because I'll probably put it in the description, but I'm gonna put that to the side. Let's get into this. Boom. That is a really nice looking lens. Let's see if I can get it a little bit up close. Oh, maybe I won't bother too much about getting it in this segment, but I'll chuck some um, camera shots of the lens and at some point I really like that this has got an aperture ring as well that's something that's quite unique to um, the Fujifilm cameras and I'm really excited to sort of get get hands on and and do a bit of review um, because I feel like it'll be a really great uh, user experience with the Fujifilm and, and obviously that's something that that they've aimed and targeted at which is really cool so here it is Get that, get rid of that box and get this bubble wrap off. Really well packaged, of course. Make sure that camera arrives safely. I've actually had this sitting in the box like this for about a week or maybe a bit longer. Uh, and I've just been itching to get it out, but um, I'd sort of packed up all my spaces and so I didn't have um, a space that I could film the video at. It's Excuse me for talking over the bubble wrap noise. And I'll get this other layer of plastic gone. So here it is, the Fujifilm X-T20. Let's get into it. I like the, the branding of the box. It's really plain, really simple. Um, let's get into it. Um, on the back, so it looks at the, the, the package contents, all that kind of thing. This comes with the kit lens, which is the 18-55mm uh, f2.8 to 4. It's not a constant aperture as most kit, kit lenses uh, you get are. It's, so, first little white box. Let's have a look at what's in here. So, of course, we have the lens. And I think that other lens, let's have a quick look. It did come with a, looks like a, a lens hood as well, which is cool. And I see this one comes with a lens hood, which is really nice. There's the lens hood. And there is the lens. So I'm just putting things to the side. Again, really nice looking lens. Really smooth feeling lens. Really looking forward to um, getting hands on with this camera, but Let's put that lens away and get into the body, which is really what we want to see. Okay, little X series detailing on the box. Some more paperwork, quite a thick, meaty manual, which is always good to get familiar with. 
Oh, there it is. There it is. I really, really like the look of um, these bodies. It's got a very, um, feels almost rude pulling off the stickers. Um, it, it's got a really old school, sort of vintage, classic look, which I really like. Super lightweight, um, but it's really, really nice. Have a look at that sucker up close. Hopefully you get a good look. As I said, I will have some, um, we'll have some shots close up, little sort of product shots. But man, this is a really, really good looking camera. Really good looking. Oh, those, I really like the feeling of the buttons, just the way they slide. The, um, the screen does flip out somehow, which is nice, gives you a little flip out screen. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna bore you if I just keep staring at it and, and talking about it, but um, here it is. I've got some great ideas in terms of video content. One of the things that I, I, I was really keen to do is, so often when it comes to like photography, you know, I, you set your camera up, you take your sneaker shot, then you export the photos and you put them on your laptop, then you put them into the Lightroom and then you, you know, do all the settings and then you tweak them and you export it again and you have to get it back onto your iPhone before you can post to Instagram. I know some people actually just take a photo on their phone and post to Instagram, but for me, like I have this whole process that I go through and so what I want to try and do and I want to get a video of this is simply just have this camera and my iPhone. I've got an iPhone 8 Plus and just the camera. Um, and what I want to do is take the photos on here uh, and then use Wi Fi to transfer the, the photos over to my phone uh, and then edit on Lightroom CC um, and then post to Instagram. So I think what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and do a week where all I use is this camera and this phone and get some old feet shots. This is, I have Wi-Fi and all the features that I want as well. Probably just use the, that wide lens with the F2 aperture um, and put up a review of my experience and how that was. Because I, I feel like this is a lightweight camera, a camera that you could just take around, but also really usable and, and get some really nice shots um, and chuck them straight on here. So uh, stay tuned for that video coming up next. Um, but as we close, um, check out some product shots, some up close shots of the camera. And as always, please like, subscribe and comment. Let me know if you're enjoying the content. To be honest, I don't really care. I'm just gonna make content that I like anyway. Um, but it does, it is good to hear your opinion regardless. Anyways guys, check out the shots. Catch you in the next video.